Well, I recently did a video for World of Warcraft pre-patch, i.e. the 11.00 patch for World of Warcraft, on how to get your add-ons ready or check which ones aren't ready, as well as tools like BugSack and Bug Grabber to detect the faulty add-ons easily and get your UI squared away for that patch. So I'm not going to recap that video too much. But what I want to talk about in this video is why 11.02 it's going to break even more add-ons, and that's because 11.00 pretty much added all the new stuff. What it didn't do is remove a lot of the old stuff, what they call deprecations. Now, what are deprecations? These are functions that are changed or removed from the game, but Blizzard leaves compatibility wrappers in the game files until the next expansion patch where they finally take them out completely and break them. Well, tomorrow is that patch. There's a summary here of everything that's being removed tomorrow or, or renamed because they changed the way the function works and put it in some kind of different function name. But all these functions here, all these wrappers, these deprecations, going from patch 10.00 all the way to 11.00, these functions, these deprecations, are being deleted tomorrow. So any add-on that's still relying on this version of the function, hasn't moved to this version of the function on the right, will break. Even if they were working yesterday, they will not be working tomorrow if they're not actually compatible with these new functions yet, you know, if they were still relying on these wrappers. I'm going to deep dive even more on these deprecations to kind of show how it works. Blizzard has an add-on they call Blizzard Deprecated. And what they do is all the functions they changed or renamed, or just plain removed, they actually create a custom add-on built into the game files. It loads compatibility versions of them. Like say I click this. This one was the big one. This one renamed a lot of functions, mainly related to add-ons. A lot of add-ons use these functions, a lot. So let's say, for example, last time the add-on that's broken tomorrow was updated, was 10.15, that add-on might still be working because of these deprecations existing, because there was backwards compatibility code. You now these things that were removed in 10.2 still have a wrapper available until tomorrow. So let's say the add-on is still using this function. This function exists today. Tomorrow, if you're not using this one, broken add-on. That's why this patch is significant, because it's making a lot of the add-ons that manage to dodge a bullet by not being updated for 11.0, they no longer have an excuse for 11.02. If they're not updated by tomorrow, they will be broken. It's pretty much a guarantee, because a lot of these functions are pretty hard to avoid. You pretty much use like this one, especially this one. Patch 10.2.0 is probably one of the biggest ones. And then one of the next biggest ones is this one because it uses it has unit aura, unit buff, unit debuffs. This is basically anything that has to do with, you know, unit frames, combat, item stats. All of this was changed in 1025, but again, they added a 1025 deprecation that allowed add-ons that weren't updated yet to stay functioning for now. Well, for now is over with. This one was a lot more significant because it moved a lot of the spell functions into tables. So get spell info, get spell cooldown. Again, a lot of functions that'll be heavily used by anything interacting with the spell book or checking spell data in combat. These were deprecated in 11.0, but they kept the wrapper in for add-ons that weren't updated yet. And again, these are all summarized right here. You know, the patches are breakdown right here. All of these functions were changed. And tomorrow, any add-on that basically doesn't say 11.00, or actually 11.02 at this point, is more prone to breakage. And that's what this video is pretty much primarily about. That's all I really have to say on the topic, really. At this point, it's go to this video to learn about how to see which add-ons aren't updated, like using the CurseForge client or the CurseForge webpage or using an add-on like BugSack and BugGrapper to detect this. 
Like all of this information is covered in this video. I'm not really going to cover it again. I'm just going to help you. And then you click the video here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more information on add-on updates or just World of Warcraft stuff in general.